What's up guys, today I have a review of the MSI GTX 750 OC Edition graphics card. So let's begin with a quick look at the specifications. So the MSI GTX 750 comes with 1GB of GDDR5 memory, 512 stream processors, a clock speed of 1059MHz with a boost clock of 1137MHz and 5000MHz of effective memory. It has NVIDIA physics, the NVIDIA CUDA core supports NVIDIA surround and a 3D and a 4K resolution. The graphics card itself is nice and small, it has an all black design with a blue MSI sticker and white MSI branding. It's only 21cm long and 12cm wide, for the connections you will get one DVI, one VGA and one HDMI port. Let's now take a look at the actual performance of this GPU. Overall we got some impressive results for this budget GPU. Of course is the power consumption and temperature of the GPU very important. So I run the Furmark benchmark which will stress the GPU to its maximum for around 15 minutes. I was really happy with the results because the GPU was running at around 65 degrees celsius and full load with stock speeds and without any graphically intensive stuff going on it was around 27 degrees celsius. So when I was gaming for a long period of time I didn't have to worry about the temperatures at all. Overclocking this GPU was a good experience, it overclocks very well, it was stable and because it was already running at 65 degrees celsius with no overclock I could overclock this card quite a bit to get more performance out of it. So with the overclocking the temperature increased to 71 degrees celsius were very nice and far below 80 degrees celsius. The amount of power the GPU was taking at full load was at its highest point 68 watts. Which is great, it doesn't even need a 6 pin connector, it will get all the power it needs from the PCI Express slot. The GPU was also running very very quiet on full load. So the MSI GTX 750 comes with some great specifications and features for its price. This card would fit perfectly in a budget PC build since it runs very cool, is small and compact, doesn't need an extra 6 pin connector, doesn't use a lot of power while still providing some great real world performance. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to see the comparison between this GPU and the Sapphire R7 260X and I will see you in the next video.